Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Akira. Uh, yeah, so this is happening. They're actually going to make a live action Akira. They have a date for it and they have a director and the choice of director has been long rumored, but it's still, I think, a pretty surprising choice given his body of work. Before we get into the video, please, please subscribe to Clownfish TV. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who subscribed. It's definitely helping the channel. Uh, big thank you to everyone who subscribed this week. We're kind of doing a subscription drive. We want to get to get to 100,000. We have uh, a ways to go. We have a ways to go, but we're over a third of the way there. Yes. We're going to get there. Geeky wants your subs. I do. Geeky wants your subs. That sounds wrong. Geeky, sub for there Geeky. Be, there's always joke I'm going to hear now because sub, you said that. Sub for brushable hair. Hashtag sub for Geeky. Anyway, go ahead. Okay, so uh, yeah, they're doing this. They're going to do live action Akira. I've got I've got mixed feelings. Now, Geeky has actually never seen Akira. I have not. Now, I could have watched it, but that we wasn't one. I know. <laughs> I, just never, I just never did because it's not really one that, it's not really something that I'm really into. Um, but you have. Uh, yeah, it's it's considered a, a classic uh, anime. I've, I've read some of the manga. It is uh, a very dark movie. That's why it's, I don't watch it. It's a very <laughs> violent movie. That's another reason I don't watch it. And uh, the director is going to be the guy who did Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, that just... I, I, I'm not really sure how I feel about this. No, I'm uh, not saying that somebody can't have, you know, can do more than one type of thing. Right, right. But, I mean, we had, you know, we had uh, Tim Burton doing Batman. Tim and, Burton pretty much is Tim Burton pretty much every Tim movie. Burton is Tim Burton in every movie he does. But, I know I'm just saying. In that like, case, that's not a good example. Uh, but Taika Waititi is doing Akira. And now it has been rumored that he was interested in it, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. He was talking about it. And, uh, you know, I read... Uh, why, why am I watching this rat wrestling with a cockroach? Uh, this is on io9. I, I read uh, an interview and he does seem like he's going to be pretty respectful to the source material, but this is going to be a very, very different movie from Thor Ragnarok. Uh, Thor Ragnarok, a lot of people had complaints about it being, I liked it. I liked it too, actually. But a lot of people had complaints about it being too jokey. It was a very jokey. It was a complete 180 from uh, the previous two Thor movies and the second one, which I thought was boring as hell. So I was actually pretty happy with Ragnarok, but I, I, I'm not really sure how I feel about him doing Akira. Well, I don't know. Like I'm saying, I mean, we don't know. I mean, maybe he wants to try something more serious. Maybe he wants to show he can do more than just funny because like that saying he couldn't would be no different than people saying, well, you have to be gay to play gay characters and you have to be, you know, yeah. they keep doing that all the time. Like, you know, you can't, why do you hire a straight person to get play a gay guy, but it's okay to hire a gay guy to play a straight guy. You know what I mean? It's just like this. You can't be a, you can't play a, uh, you know, Batwoman, unless you yourself are a, a lesbian. You stay know? in your own lane. Everybody yeah. has to stay in their own so lane. So I'm like, you know, that's no different. So saying he couldn't do it is no different than them. Okay, saying that. yeah, I'll I'll give you that. It is, it is to me though. It, it seems like a pretty strange. It uh, is a strange choice. choice. I I actually you know, would have gone for. Well, he's doing Dune now. Uh, the guy but, who did yeah, um, Blade Runner uh, 2049 seems like it would have meshed up a little bit better. It does you know, seem maybe. like it would have meshed up a bit. But better. but uh, you know. The good news, I guess, to come out of this, from what I can gather, is we had concerns about where they were going to go with this. A, a couple of months ago, we talked about it in a live stream, and they had these wacky ideas that they were going to uh, make it take place in America. Yeah, yeah. It was going to be American teenagers uh, that uh, Tetsuo and Kaneda, instead of being friends, they were going to be brothers. They were going to be older. It took place in Neo Manhattan. Yeah. Uh, you know, have they said something about this? Have they changed these? Uh, yeah, so this was uh, this was actually uh, a couple months ago came yeah, out remember. of Production Weekly and people were losing their shit because they're like, how can you take Akira, which is considered one of the greatest uh, uh, anime and manga of all time, and, and, and westernize it and turn it into something it isn't? I mean, they even had they even had concept art of the Western Akira floating I didn't around out there. That. Yeah, this was um. When it, but this was the abandoned version of it. It was going to be uh, Chris Evans and Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I'm like, so what is the actual... Like, this is what we could have gotten, right? And this is what... I'm like, this This is going to be a disaster. Uh, Chris Evans and Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Akira. And it's the very American... Now, I don't think this is... I mean, they've had so many people want to take, uh, take a stab at Akira that... You know, this is probably like the umpteenth version of it that they've they've done concept art for. But I'm like, what in the actual? This is like 08. Yeah, 08. Oh, so it was a while ago then. I mean, this looks right, except for the cowboy. Um, I don't know if the cowboy was it. Maybe the cowboy was in the original. Before, actually. But uh, the cannon bike is right. I mean, this all looks right. 
but God, you know, I wanted a street bike and I wasn't allowed to have one. <laughs> having, having, uh, I think they took jo- Joseph Gordon Levitt's head and made it bigger because, like, Tetsuo has kind of a big forehead. <laughs> you know? I, don't, I don't know what I don't they did. Know. But uh, this is what we could have got. Now, Taika Waititi does sound like he's pretty respectful of the source material. He has made comments before that, yeah, it's going to feature Asian actors. Uh, this is not going to be, uh, you know, quote unquote, whitewashed. I'm sure people will still find it problematic somehow. Oh, yeah, but if you do everything right, they're still um, mad about something. They're going to find it problematic. I mean, they complained and complained and complained about Alita, even oh, yeah. though Alita was pretty much the closest, uh, you know, anime manga still, adaptation so I still far. still love they got mad about characters being white when they were actually white in, you know, originally. <laughs> so I was like, really? Yeah. Really? God. Okay, anyway. um, so here's here's what he had to say about it. He says, uh, my mom took me to see Akira in the cinema in 89 or whenever it came out in New Zealand. So that would have been a few years after it came out. It actually came out in 86. I think it was 86. And it was a huge turning point in my life for what I imagined animation to be and realizing what it could be. Yeah, I it can, was. I can believe that. It was such a, a technological achievement for 2D animation. Akira, it was, it was amazing. It still holds up to this day. Um, it was so amazing. Uh, this has stuck with me this whole time. I feel visually the film was an amazing thing. Hey, see, he thought it was amazing too. So I read the, the comic books and manga, and then I was always more curious as to what a broader adaptation of the books might look like instead of a remake of the film, which doesn't need to be okay, remade. I'll give him respect for this. I think, you know, finally, somebody who's like, it doesn't need to be remade. Yeah. It's perfect as it is. Let's do, let's do something different. Let's, you know, based on the manga. I, I will give him complete credit for this. Yeah, so there are, you know, this is interesting going back to the original manga and not the film. It's a good thing. There is a lot more to mine. The story was a lot more complex right. in the manga. Uh, you know, Usually but, is. Right, but it's coming out in, in 2021. So, like, there's not, I mean, we're talking, like, you know, two years, less than two years. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to come out. So, I, you know, I don't know. I'm, I'm really torn because originally I was, I was going to be like, this video was going to be like, I have a bad feeling about this. I don't. You know? I think he seems I, I, to respect it. I think he seems to get it. And I and I like the fact that he's like, I'm not doing the movie again because it's already been done and it's what? done well. Who are we watching a rat and a cockroach make out? <laughs> I don't even have words. I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just like, you know, it, it, I, I give him credit for that because it's a refreshing to be like, hey, it was already done. It was already done well. Let's not dick with it. Yeah, um, you know, and I mean, if, if it's if it's as respectful as Alita was, I don't want to watch this rat make out anymore. Here, let's go this one. I didn't even know what they were doing. If it was, if it's as respectful as Alita was, it might actually be a good thing. But I mean, this is the big one. This is like, Akira is like one of the holy grails yeah, of, of anime. And, um, you know, it's a huge undertaking, I think, for anybody that would come in. I am glad that he does seem to get it more than um than the very hollywood version of it but i still yeah. have a feeling you know if the studios have it their way that they might you know meddle a little bit i don't know but alita does show us that they can do a respectful adaptation and do it well um again i'm just really surprised by the choice because you know he's mostly known for comedy yeah and it's not a but funny like movie said, it's not mostly, a funny manga but just because you're mostly known for it doesn't mean that's all you are right too i mean i'm to be fair i mean there's a lot of people who are known for certain things and then they find you find out they can do other things just as well um well yeah look at a lot of actors look at like jim carrey and and you know he's well he's got he did some he did some pretty good oh, he did some roles. more serious roles yes. you know truman show and and uh you know Okay. Oh no! I mean, yeah, Truman but Show maybe. was good. Truman Show was good. I like the Truman Show. It was okay. <laughs> it was good. <laughs> it was I really liked it. I, I thought it was. Um, I thought it was good. It was. It was a, a nice change from some of his other stuff. But um, yeah, yeah. So and now I mean, he's playing. You know, he's playing Eggman. So you yeah. know, but Robotnik. it seems like okay. So this, you know, again, going back to we talk a lot about you know Hollywood and anime and manga. Now we're starting to see the bigger picture, right? We're starting to see that you know I'm wondering if superheroes are. Uh, kind of on the decline now because you know Endgame pretty much was like the end all be all for yeah. superhero movies and I think they can only really go down However, from here. Wonder Woman eighty four. Well, that's true. I'm that's very true. excited about so you know just watch it. Well, I think <laughs> I think Hollywood is gonna start strip mining uh, anime and manga. Oh, I agree. Now. And Alita was, but the thing is, Alita was actually really good. So Alita, you know, if they can pull that off. And I never thought anybody would be able to pull that off in live action. Right. So, you know, they you might. Know, so. I, I do have some hope. Uh, but then again, Detective Pikachu gave us hope for video game movies and we got Sonic. So Yeah, but they are moving it back. They are moving Sonic back. Yeah, they are moving Sonic back to fix it. So hopefully knowing 
you know the kind of pressure that's on them to get this one right you know i hope i hope they do it justice that's, i hope so too so will you go see it even if it's violent i don't know it's gonna be r-rated for sure i can guarantee it we'll see maybe i'll just see the trailers on it and see what i think all right so uh i guess we're gonna wrap this one up yes because we want to go watch a movie we're gonna go watch a movie yeah we're gonna go watch a movie okay so please subscribe for more pop culture news views rants gaming videos art videos and more this has been neon and geeky bye goodbye hey guys thanks for watching clownfish tv please consider supporting the channel go to clownfishsupport.com that's clownfishsupport.com and if you want to join our community go to clownfishtalk.com that's clownfishtalk.com please subscribe ring the bell for notifications we will talk to you next time